of the way you described your business a little bit and when, it, when you will talk a little bit about the giveaway model and how that's built into your advertising, essentially people buy products on diesel power gear and are given entries into uh, draws that actually take place on the show, on the trucks that are being worked on that week. You actually give away a six figure truck pretty much every week when the show is on. And so in my mind, it, it almost gives you like the cheat codes a little bit because you you have you have so much of a following. You've built up such a loyal audience over time that I feel like it allows you to like really experiment with your Facebook ads and really push the level of expertise that you're bringing to the to, to the table because you've got all this backing with this in, incredible brand behind you. And so I on this interview, I really want to get into some of the some of your your Facebook ads tactics that you're enjoying and, and working with these yeah. days. Yeah, I think. I think what we do really, really well is we're aggressive, man. We have an aggressive offer all the time. So we go into the marketplace with something that very few people can compete with. Um, and at the end of the day, that that drags us, that, that makes the whole thing run. Uh, yeah. At least for us, is having that offer that's untouchable. Yeah, and I, it's a, a, a diverse offer within within your, your core audience group there. So I want to start with uh, the news of the day a little bit. And this is just, I just sort of scan the, the, the groups and there seems to be a, a general sentiment, I guess over the last two months, but maybe even specifically over the past couple of weeks of a lot of volatility, a lot of inconsistency when it comes to CPCs, when it comes to uh, cost for purchases and things like that. Is that stuff that you experience or do literally, do you guys sort of like push your way through that because of how solid your, your whole business model is like, and what are you seeing in the, in the Facebook ad space like right now? I mean, like Q4, um, it, 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 yeah, CPCs have gone up a little bit. Um, we're almost double what we were last quarter, but, but that's to be expected, right? Uh, mm -hmm. we went into Q4 understanding that and understanding that we were still going to be aggressive with that. Um, volatility, to a certain extent, we experience. Yeah, I'm experiencing that. A lot of a lot of it's Facebook. A lot of it's just just the marketplace in general. But um, we just kind of plan on paying a little bit more for traffic at the like at this time of year. You have to. Yeah. Does it change influence? Does Q4 actually change a lot with influencers, or is it more no. stable? No, it's a, I mean it's more stable, right? Um, but as long as you have, we usually have a very aggressive Black Black Friday Cyber Monday offer. Um, and it's a little bit more stable, but, but yeah, I mean, traffic in general is just going to go up in Q4 and you just got to kind of expect that we're about double what we're normally paying right now. But, do you have, do you have any good tips on preparing specifically for Black Friday, Cyber Monday? And, and you guys obviously have a really multifaceted strategy, but any, any tips out there for people trying to prepare for, for specifically those kind of sales? Um, <laughs> make sure you can handle the sales that are going to come through. Uh, so we fulfill our own orders, right? We don't drive.